Right now, it's only he is the reach advantage. Also, he's currying in Chief U.S. Florida as well. That's a very nice as he made his fortune in Cuban sugar and tobacco industry, and he bought it for $3,500. So, a little more than $40 he got down for. It's still a pretty amazing deal for a place like that here. Right now, it's only he is the reach advantage. Also, he's currying in Chief U.S. Florida as well. It was a very unfortunate time in U.S. history. Prohibition, alcohol wasn't legal here. But if you look in the keyhole behind those guardrails of mine, you'll see uh, those, those little keyholes. And you'll see lanterns in those at night. If the lanterns were on for the Canadians or the Americans on the Canadian side, because it was actually safe to smuggle alcohol over here. So this was yeah. Later sold it to John, bought them both for $750,000, and he can go down the hand and get a little more special. He got the best deal out of anyone else. He three years later, he decided he didn't ask me to vote out. It was a little too big for him. He didn't have that many votes. He stopped that from the community festival. There's just a few trees. But if you come around, you'll see the entrance to a small cave. That cave was in about 30 feet. And that's where a local river pirate, Bill Johnson, hid out during the Patriots War of 1838. Uh, not far from here, well, he was a U.S. citizen, and not far from here, he sank the British ship, the Sir Robert Peel, who was carrying soldiers' paychecks. So his reasoning was if he were to sink that boat, the soldiers wouldn't get paid. They would go home, Canada would gain its independence, and the U.S. would be able to take over Ireland. And from 1900 to about 1950, this was the place to be up here. This was a hot spot in town. It was a very popular nightclub on the island. It was a pretty good restaurant as well as the area's first hotel. The hotel, the motel, only accessible by a birthday goat. And that was all in the main home you'll see. Well, he was newly engaged and he really loved this area. He wanted his fiance to love it as well. Very, very successful man. Offered to purchase her any island, any home, any property up here. So, you know, they went around to a lot of these other mansions and islands and estates, toured them, looked at them all. She was pretty particular, though. She didn't really like any of the other ones she saw. But fortunately for him, by the time they'd seen everything else, he knew exactly what her specifications would be, what she would want to see in a home, in an island. So he built that for her. Surprised her with it on their wedding night, they came up here. She decided though, didn't really like the area so much. Turns out, also didn't really like the whole problem with flooding. It's a serious problem at all. So you can see a lot of these homes are pretty close to the water's edge, actually. It's actually illegal. ship was flying but it was only worth about a million dollars sounds like a lot of money it is a lot of money but about six billion dollars in shipping comes through this year every year right for a few seconds to the castle during construction, it had two diesel generators. This was at a time when Alice Bates didn't have electricity, and it turned out that while it did, it could have provided electricity to the entire town of Alice Bay as well. It was quite an engineering feat for 1900. The, it, yeah. 
4,000 of these boats come through in a season. See a red skin private residences pay a pollution fine. Every day your cars are Climb up and jump off the top. Wow. They got a lot of toys there, a lot of boats. It's a lot of money. Obi, we are not the end of the Oh, yes. It looks like a Catholic statue. Come here. 
back of your go back to your boat. We take ball? crap from everyone. We hand you a business card. Ask you to refer your friends to us. George, we and his wife would inevitably get into it, or more inevitably, his children would start fighting. Take a six pack of beer, grab his fishing rod, leave him in another country. So. <laughs> Seems to have figured it out. Good for him. Right here, we're in what's known as the mud flats. It's a pretty shallow section of the river here. It's only about five to ten feet deep. As you look off in the distance, you'll see the changes in depth.